This is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm here at NAB 2014 talking to Keith Wimes from Elemental. And uh, Keith, you have a whole bunch of demos of live Ultra HD streams. Tell us about those. Yeah, so we're doing a number of things. We have a number of world's first, as you know, over the last six months or so, we've been really pushing the envelope in this area. We did the live streaming at the Osaka Marathon in October. We pushed the envelope at CES by doing a P60 in real time. And what we're showing here is actually the world's first demonstration of 4K HEVC P60 wrapped in Dash delivered over the internet. Uh, we're actually doing this in conjunction with Akamai, and it's a pretty landmark demonstration, I think. To be thinking that Ultra HD can go over the internet uh, is pretty incredible when you think about it. And you say that's, that's, that's about 17 megabits, 17 and a half megabits? Yeah, we're actually, the content that we're showing is sports. Um, so you'll see a lot of demonstrations where it won't necessarily be sports. But Ultra HD is obviously really important. Um, you know, the underlying application, the killer app, is likely to be sports content. So showing it as P60 is, is really important. Yeah, and, and what I noticed in both the 1080p versions and in the 4K versions, the 60 frames per second makes a huge different in mo difference in motion blurring, right? Yeah, absolutely. When the ball's going across the screen, the ability to process that entire frame all in a single you know, video processing uh, instance during the encoding process is really important. Some of the demonstrations that you'll start to see over the year, over the next year will be broken up uh, video where they take a single frame and maybe divide it into quadrants and then process it, but then you lose a lot of the motion vector capability that you need for fast motion content in sports. It, it just can't happen. Now, you're also showing a demo with a set-top box, right? Yeah, this is the first demonstration that we've done with a set-top over the last six months. Typically, we've been doing the decoding with a, with a PC-based decoder. It's got some... Uh, you know, nuances to it, but with a with a set-top box, you really start to have the reliability that you need in the home, and obviously, it's a lot easier uh, for folks to deal with. And what we're proud to show at the at the booth here is actually the ability to do channel changing, um, which is a pretty basic function, right, for an in-home experience. We're showing that on a Sajemcom set-top box here at the show. So this actually begs the question: uh, We know that OTT is sort of taking the high ground with the 4K right now, claiming you know Netflix is is about to launch into 4K broadcasts of House of Cards and some other properties, and Amazon say they're going to do that as well. Yeah. Um, when does the operator step into this game? They seem to be a little bit slow in coming. When, when do you think we'll see an operator with an HD, Ultra HD channel? You know, I think it's very possible that we see it this year. We're in a number of trials, probably on the order of maybe 20 or 30 different trials going on around the world. And most of those are actually with operators. They are across both satellite, cable, and uh, IPTV or telco players. Uh, they're all eager to prove out the end-to-end -end ecosystem. I do see you know, the OTT providers driving them to make sure that they have their solution in place and getting the ecosystem right, which is what we're in the midst of right now. The encoding from our perspective is done. Uh, we're waiting for the ecosystem to flush itself out, but the operators don't want to be caught with their, you know, with their pants down, so to speak. They want to be ready when the market really hits. And so that's what we're seeing today, and that's why we're actually selling it in the market. I've been surprised over the last four months since we made our real-time encoder for 4K HVC P60 available. We're seeing huge demand for it at this point. Yeah. Do you think with the V do you think that'll be mostly VOD assets to start and not live broadcast broadcast uh, channels? I think it's going to be a combination of both. We have obviously a file uh, file based platform that can be utilized where it doesn't need to run in real time and we have the live side as well. I think certain operators are going to launch with VOD services to start. That's a direct response really to what the OTT operators are doing, but other ones are going to want to showcase real-time sports. And so in that case, you're going to see a lot of live event processing as well. It seems like sports is the catalyzer. Will we see a lot of demos of Ultra HD for the World Cup? I think so. Based on what we're seeing, which we can't fully announce, uh, there are globally a lot of World Cup oriented uh, demos for 4K, absolutely. So I guess we better be looking to our local retail electronics retailers for some of those demos, right? Everyone wants cash out of the pocket, so to speak, so absolutely. <laughs> Well, Keith, thanks very much. I hope you have a great show. Thanks, Colin. Right. This has been Colin Dixon.